Larry Anglosano at AirVetra 2025 in Oshkosh, Wisconsin at the Sonics Aircraft Exhibit. And here's a Sonics you haven't seen before. It's a Sonics High Wing. Let's go to Mark Sable for a walk around. I am Mark Shable. I'm the owner of Sonics LLC here in Oshkosh and behind me is uh, the new Sonics High Wing. Uh, it's our newest model and our first ever airplane with the wing on top. Uh, the mission of the airplane is to fly just like a Sonic, so fast, aerobatic, um, but just happens to be a high wing um, and it's just easier access. You don't have to climb up on a wing anymore to, to get in the airplane. Uh, the cabin is a bit bigger. We're 42 inches wide at the shoulders and we have more leg room in the airplane lots of adjustment options in terms of the seats um, the sticks are also modular you can put them uh, you know dual stick between each pilot's legs or you can put a center stick which is much easier to get in and out of the airplane with and you could change that out between flights if you want um, and again like the sonics cantilevered wing High cruising speeds, aerobatic. It's our first airplane that's aerobatic with two people on board. So we have a big baggage compartment on this airplane. Uh, depending on how you load the front seats, you could get 80 or 90 pounds of baggage in the back. If you're a really light pilot, solo, 160 pounds, well, you're gonna probably put the baggage next to you and not behind you. We have uh, 30 gallons of total fuel capacity, so we have our normal Sonics 20 gallon rotationally molded header tank behind the instrument panel, and then we have a five gallon rotationally molded uh, auxiliary tank in each wing center section that we can just gravity feed into the main tank. Uh, this airplane doesn't have the wing tanks yet. The tooling is currently being made, so we'll have those in a few weeks installed in the airplane. So all the flight controls are uh, push rod, uh, including the ailerons, uh, because it is aerobatic. Um, rudders are cable, but elevator and aileron, and of course flaps are all uh, chromoly steel uh, flight controls. Uh, the airplane is, uh, again, quick handling, uh, very crisp, uh, very light, uh, but as you um, accelerate into the cruise speed range, um, the, the stick really, you know, gets, um, more solid and so straight and level across country is not a big deal in the airplane at all. So uh, with this engine, this is the 130 horsepower UL Power uh, UL350 IS and so far in flight test um, at 2800 RPM at 2500 feet we're truing out at 160 miles an hour. Uh, wide open throttle, we're seeing a true airspeed of 170, indicating about 160. Now we don't quite have the right prop on this. We have to get a new prop with a couple more inches of pitch. So we're actually gonna be seeing a little bit more speed out of it as well. So it's performing well, very well. Install, we have big barn door flaps, uh, 30 degree uh, of full deflection, and uh, the airplane stalls at about 46 miles an hour with full flaps. So in this airplane, we have a dual screen, 10-inch uh, Dynon display. Definitely more than you need for an airplane like this, but it sure is cool. Um, you, can, you can do something like this at the high end. You can add autopilots to this if you'd like. Or um, for a budget build, you can just do really basic day VFR uh, instrumentation. So we figure the minimum cost to build the airplane, if you're doing base model everything, uh, for instance, with our Aero V Turbo engine at 100 horse and a really basic instrumentation package, you'd be starting at about $61,000, including the kit price to build it. Um, upwards of something like this with this equipment, these avionics, you're getting right around 100,000. Um, the kit price itself is 39,000 for what we call our complete airframe kit. Um, that is the airframe does not include the engine, avionics, propeller, or upholstery. Yeah. So here's the UL Power US, UL350 IS installation in the Sonics High Wing. Uh, we're using the UL Power baffles uh, that come with the engine. We did uh, modify the front slightly just to widen them up and connect to the cooling inlets nicely. Um, it's a really relatively very simple engine installation and one of the lighter installations among all of our engine options. Uh, in fact, we'll probably trade out our EarthX battery for an Odyssey battery just to maximize uh, baggage capacity in this particular airframe. Um, you can see we've got the uh, oil cooler scoop on the bottom under the prop and uh, we'll be making parts for that for customers uh, to be able to do the same installation on their airplane.
Volunteer. Of course, this is a, a fuel injected engine with uh, with an ECU controller. Um, it is uh, dual a dual ECUs in this uh, installation. It's uh, the, the ASTM certified version of the installation. Now, for both uh, this tricycle or both this tail dragger prototype and the tricycle gear prototype that we're building right after the show, we are sticking with ASTM certified engines with the mosaic rules when the aircraft certification side takes full effect, we'll be going through the compliance process uh, for uh, light sport aircraft for, for the high wing in both tail dragger and tricycle gear configurations. Yeah, so uh, we are taking kit orders. Um, first shipments uh, will be right around year end. And uh, uh, we're doing quick build kits as well. So lead times uh, will vary depending on the type of kit you get. Um, regular uh, kits will be 16 to 20 weeks typically um, after that year end start for shipping. And the quick build kits, they take a few months. They're typically about 10 months lead time on quick build kits. And the quick build kits are all assembled right here in our factory in Oshkosh right across the field from the showgrounds. <laughs> we are giving factory tours this week. Um, you can either show up at our factory at 10 a.m. any day now through Saturday, or you can sign up at our booth and we'll actually give you a ride from the booth to our factory uh, on an hour long tour. We don't hold you hostage or sell you timeshares. We'll get you back here at a reasonable time and you can check out the factory.